Hi again. Today, the big secret to relating well is humility and gentleness. That's really the key of chapter 4 of the book of Ephesians. Do you know how many relationship issues uh, could be resolved if, if only just parties and individuals treated each other with a bit more humility and gentleness? Maybe think back to the last big argument you had or the big fight or misunderstanding and just overlay on that. What if either of us had a bit more humility or if we treated the other person instead of just speaking our mind however it was, if we treated the other person with a bit more gentleness, how would that pan out? I think the problem for us is that we think that humility in some way is, is weak. That we think that, oh, we're going to lose if we, if we approach this with gentleness. Um, you know, I always hear things like, why must I be the one to bend? Why, why do I have to go first? Why, why me? I know I think these things. And I know Paul must have known this. Paul, the author of Ephesians. God certainly wanted us to know about this. Because in Ephesians 4, 1 to 16, Paul makes specific reference to Jesus Christ. And it says in, in verse 10, listen to this, that Jesus himself descended and then was ascended up and lifted high above all. Why does it talk about Jesus coming down low and then lifting back up again? It's because of this. Jesus is our example. Why must I be the first one to bend? Because if it's good enough for my Lord Jesus, then it's good enough for me. That's what we're supposed to be saying. So I hope that today as we go into our study of humility and gentleness, that you will have a mindset that this is not something that losers do, that this is not something that weak people do, but rather that this is something our Lord Himself does. This is what good leaders do. God bless.